What's up guys? Today's video is on the Kirkland Signature Wedge review for 2022. There has been plenty of hype surrounding the release of the Kirkland Signature Wedges from Costco. With their set of three wedges available for under $160 it's easy to see why people are so excited about them. The Kirkland Signature Wedges offer real value for money. But are they worth the reasonable price tag? Let's find out. I walked into my closest golf store recently and realized how expensive wedges are getting. A single wedge can cost upwards of $200. I like to replace my wedges as soon as the grooves wear out and I've got three in my bag. It's safe to say that I'm scared my next new set is going to hurt my wallet. The Kirkland Signature Wedges hit a really affordable price point, naturally. This will turn the heads of golfers who replace wedges frequently but don't have a tour pro's budget. When it comes to golf clubs, price isn't the most important factor I consider. I need to love the look and feel of the club I'm using. Looking down at a club I don't like kills my confidence, so it's key that I like what I see at a dress. So, are the Kirkland Signature Clubs an average set of wedges that offer good value for money? Or can they rival some of golf's premium wedges? To start the review off, let's talk about what comes with the Kirkland Signature Wedge Set. The clubs come in a box as a three-wedge bundle. You get a gap wedge, a sand wedge, and a lob wedge. The lofts of these clubs work out at 52. 56, and 60 degrees respectively. They come with 10 degrees of bounce on both the gap wedge and sand wedge and slightly less on the lob wedge which has 8 degrees. The gap wedge has a swing weight of D3, with the sand and lob wedges both weighted at D4. How does this configuration compare to other wedge sets on the market? The 52, 56, and 60 degree setup is pretty common amongst golfers that I play with. I game a set of Callaway Mac Daddy wedges in the exact same lofts and bounce angles offered by the Kirkland set. This makes them a really good fit for my bag. My pitching wedge is 48 degrees so the wedges fit my bag nicely in 4 degree increments. I know some golfers who like their wedges with 50, 54, and 58 degrees of loft. This could be to match their irons and get consistent gapping. Other golfers prefer to use less loft and avoid a 60 degree wedge where they can. Unfortunately, the set is only available in a standard 52. 56, and 60 setup so if you prefer a 58 degree lob wedge you're out of luck. If you do shy away from using a lob wedge, but want to try the Kirkland Signature Wedges I recommend reading our guide to using a lob wedge. Our in-depth article addresses many of the anxieties associated with using a lob wedge and will help you to understand whether the risk is worth the reward. I think the loft and bounce configuration from the Kirkland Wedges will suit a lot of golfers, with many of them already using an identical setup myself included. With that said, it's a shame they only offer a single set of loft configurations. Performance. It took me a few shots to get used to these wedges. After I did, I have to say, I was really impressed with how these wedges performed. So, how did I test them? I decided that the most realistic way to test the performance of these wedges would be to replicate real-life situations within both the course and practice area. I used my club's chipping area to get a good feel for them. Once I had them dialed in, I decided it would be best to test them on the course during a real round of golf. I should mention that a few times during my round I deliberately aimed at the bunkers. This allowed me to get a feel for both the sand and lob wedges out of the bunkers during a real round. Let's go through my performance findings club by club starting with the gap wedge. Gap wedge performance. I found that around the greens there was nothing out of the ordinary to report back. My own 100-yard club is a 52-degree wedge, and I like using it for chipping. When I tested the Kirkland gap wedge, it rolled out as much as I expected it would. For pitch shots from 30, 50, 70 yards, and full shots, the distance control was nearly identical to my gap wedge so I adapted quite easily. I liked the trajectory for my full shots and chipped impressively with this club. Sand wedge performance. Next, we'll move on to the sand wedge. From the bunkers, I was able to use the sand wedge effectively to access back pins. I noticed plenty of spin for the bunker shots and my chip shots checked nicely too. My own sand wedge is my 90-yard club and I was able to use the Kirkland sand wedge to attack the green from this range comfortably. There were no major surprises from the 56-degree wedge. It helped me out of bunkers and I hit the occasional chip shot well. I don't really use my sand wedge that much for chipping. So it's worth noting that when I tested this I wasn't always super confident in my club selection. Conclusion If you've made it this far you'll know that the Kirkland signature wedges have won me over. They offer everything the majority of weekend golfers would want from their wedges. And at less than $160 for three brand new golf clubs, you really can't go wrong. If you're a weekend golfer who wants to treat yourself to a nice set of wedges, 
These are an excellent choice with a price tag that's hard to resist.